Kamapaialua. Mina, Mina. So I'm teaching the kids Halawakani, which is the only Tasmanian Aboriginal language now spoken. The children that I work with have made my job really easy because they just soak it up. They learn words one week and they can put them in sentences the next. So it's really rewarding to see that these children are retaining the language and being able to use it. My mum and my nan, they were very strong women. So I always aspired to be like them. I'm lucky to have the people in my family, in my community, that have helped me become the person I am today. I grew up on Cape Barren Island, going to the beach, going out into the bush, visiting everybody on the island. I feel like my time on Cape Barren was really important because I got to spend some good quality time with my grandmother, who I lived with over there. Having her influence as a young child and being brought up by her for many years was a really good experience. Nan taught me a lot of culture. As a family, we had a mutton birding shed on Big Dog Island. Mutton birding is like really hard work and um, it was really good to be able to do that with my family. I could see how well they worked together as a team, so that was really influential. Coming to Launceston from Cape Barren, it wasn't really that much of a big culture shock, but definitely going from a high school with seven students to a college with hundreds, you know, that was a, a bit hard to deal with. Now I'm working with about 20 to 35 children weekly. I run three after-school groups, teaching and learning of Aboriginal culture, history, the importance of land, language. I'm hoping that my influence on the children impacts the way that they go about everyday life. Not just language, not just cultural knowledge. I want them to grow up being confident, to be proud of who they are, where they've come from, feeling self-assured that they're, they're going to be able to face anything that they come across. I really hope that I have a positive impact on them. Nairi, well done.